Hey everybody, happy Friday and happy summer. We are in the first week of June. Um, I was joking with my husband saying that this is my the beginning of my least favorite time of the year. <laughs> the kids are home all day and it's crazy, but here we go. It'll fly by, I'm sure. Um, all right, let's see if you guys can find me. All right, good, there we are. All right, so hopefully we... Um, you guys can hear me and everything. Things look a little bit weird on my end. I hate when that happens. Let's see. I'm sure you guys can hear. Ellie, is that you? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. So all the kids are home, you guys, so prepare for today to be chaos. One just came in. One's getting ready to go out. And the dogs are are going to be very excited, I'm sure. All right, so today we're going to do um, stellar birthday right here. Stellar birthday. Hey, Antoinette. Um, if you guys haven't gotten this stamp set, you need to get it. It's really cute. At first, I was like, oh, it's okay. It's, you know, it's cute. I like the color. I'll get it. It's so cute. It. Um, I think I'm going to convince you guys to get it if you haven't gotten it yet. If you haven't joined me before Facebook Friday, I do three projects with one stamp set usually. And if you go over to pinkbuckaroo.com right now, you'll find a PDF under the last photo. Um, and the PDF has all the measurements and all the supplies there for you. Um, and it's free, it doesn't cost you anything, but you can print it, save it, do whatever you want with it. Oh good, I see everybody now. Hello, hello, hello everybody. Okay. Um, where do I start? Let's see. The first thing I'm going to tell you is that the last chance list for this mini catalog came out this week. It retires at the end of this month, June 30th. And I'm going to link today when I'm done, I'm going to link you guys to this. Like I linked one earlier this week, but it wasn't sorted by page. So this is the, the whole last chance list and it's sorted by page. And I made the font really big because <laughs> the the font is very small and the one that Stampin' Up! sends us. So be looking for that. I will link it uh, on today's post. You want to go through your catalog and look to see what's leaving. You probably already have an idea because you've seen the annual catalog. So if it's not in the annual catalog, then it's leaving. But go through there page by page. I always take a marker and I write an R on the things that are retiring just kind of so that I know, you know, did I want that? Do I need that? Do I have that? Do I have the matching dies to that? Um, some of it's on sale. Some of it is up to 50% off. And, you know, I went through my catalog and marked things, but I didn't even look to see what was on sale. There's quite a bit of these things that are marked down. So you want to check them out. Um, everything is while supplies last, except for the stamps. They'll guarantee the stamps through like the last week of June. I think, I don't know the official date. It's usually like around the 23rd or something. Um, but if you want dies, like if you need dies for a stamp set, if you want... Um, embellishments, those awesome little boxes, you know, little match boxes, those are retiring. Um, if you want those, those are just great to have on hand for, for treats. Make sure you get them before they are gone, okay? And some of it already may be gone. I don't know. I haven't been, I haven't checked at all. This week has been crazy. So, but anyway, I will link that for you. You can also go over to the store page and at the top click sale. I think it's a sale and it'll there will there'll be a little choice it says last chance list and visually you can see everything that's retiring the other thing i want to point out is that the things that are in that catalog that are carrying over to the annual catalog if they're offered as a bundle price in the mini catalog most of them won't be offered at that bundle price in the big catalog Bundle price saves you 10% so if there was a bundle you've been watching maybe you want it get it before it, it before that catalog ends so that you can save the 10%. I noticed the strawberry bundle carried over as a bundle, but it seems like all the other ones carried over as just the dies and the stamp set separately. So just a little tidbit. Okay, let's see. I need to tell you about, okay, I'll tell you about this. We have a special, we've had, we have so much going on that it's very hard for me to remember everything. So we were have we had a starter kit promotion that ended right, but we have this other promotion going on where you can get an extra twenty five dollars in Stampin' Rewards when you when you submit an order, 
over $250. Typically, we think about that as like a workshop, like if you had a workshop at your house and everybody put in an order, if the orders were more than $250, the host would get an extra $25. That is still true. However, it doesn't have to be a workshop. If you have birthday money and you're gonna put in a big order, if you and a couple of friends combine your orders and it's over $250, you're gonna get that extra um, if it's, if it's over $250, you're going to get that extra $25 in Stampin' Rewards. Um, in the catalog, let's see, where's my big catalog? I don't know. Where did it go? Anyway, I put it on the PDF here that on page 170 of the annual catalog, that's so weird. It was sitting, oh, here it is. At the back of this catalog, on page 170, you'll find that Stampin' Rewards chart. If you've never stopped to look at it, that's it right there. I know it's backwards, but you guys need to look at it in your catalog. Um, you'll earn Stampin' Rewards on your own individual orders, even if you're not having a class or a workshop. Um, so take note of that and take note of this. They're calling it, it has a weird name, Connect, Craft, and Collect. <laughs> I don't know. Basically, extra $25 in Stamper Rewards is what I'd call it um, once you hit that $250. So keep that in mind, okay? And that ends June 14th. So we have, what's today, the 4th? We have 10 more days for that, okay? I just want to make sure I told you guys so that you didn't miss out on that if you're maybe like saving up to put in a real big order. I know $250 is easy to get to, <laughs> really easy to get to. Okay, we have a new um, all-star tutorial bundle, and we always do a blog hop with these, and I totally missed it. I, I don't know, it wasn't on my calendar, so my post actually went up late yesterday, um, and it's there, so you can go see it. This month's um, all-star tutorial is the Sand and Sea Suite, and there's 12 projects, all featuring that stamp set, and dies, and... Um, let me think, what else do I need to tell you? 12 different designers, they're all videos. So there are links in the PDF and um, it'll take you to a video tutorial for each of those projects. And my project this month, I didn't use the paper. I wanted to use the new party pattern paper that I'm pretty obsessed with. So mine is a little box with some fun bright colors in it, okay? So click back one post, you'll find all the details in it. Um, you like them, Catherine, they are good. I swear every month is better than the last. You get this for free if you spend over $50 with me um, online. You also can buy this if you're a demonstrator or you have a demonstrator, you don't wanna order. You can actually buy the PDF for $15 in my PDF store. And it's pretty big, it's pretty long, 12 projects. And they have imperial and metric measurements for my friends overseas. In metric countries <laughs> okay so that's that you can find that I will link that today too um, it's just back one post from today um, okay my peach class is out I teased you guys last, guys last week with it it's so stinking cute um, I found peach things and made peach three let's see how many four 3d projects well one I don't know if you consider it a 3d it has a peach face mask in it and you just slide it out. Wouldn't those be fun little party favors or bridal shower favors or something? Anyway, there's four gift projects and three cards. Um, you can get it with or without the Sweet as a Peach Bundle. You know what? I'm going to turn you guys around so you can see this better. Because I, I know you can't see it. Whoops, I just closed my iPad. Okay, so hold on. Oh, just a second. Let me turn you guys around. It seems very weird in here. I closed off... I have sliding barn doors on my office that don't really close. You know, they're not really like doors. And so I shut them, slid them closed, and closed my blinds, and it feels really dark in here and weird. Um, <laughs> weird. I don't know. I feel like, I don't know, it feels dark. And then when I look in the phone, it looks very dark, but down here we look okay. Okay, here it is. Are we centered? Hold on. I got to wait for it to catch up. What? Okay, I see the camera's way over here. Okay, back to what we were talking about, the peach class. So, four options with my classes to go. You can get it with the bundle, 
if you don't have the bundle yet. When you buy the bundle option, you're saving money because I'm throwing in the ribbon for free. I actually subtract the cost of the ribbon um, for option one. So option one includes the bundle, the ribbon, uh, champagne rhinestones, and seven projects, and a PDF. Option two is for those of you, option one is $59. Option two is for those of you who already have the bundle, you don't want it, you just want the kit. You're gonna also get the bolt of ribbon and the champagne rhinestones because you need them for your projects, um, and that's $40. Now, one and two, ship priority mail, padded envelope, and it's $8 flat rate shipping. That's the easiest way for both of us to do it. It has tracking, has um, insurance, all of that. Option three is for those of you that just want the PDF. It's already over in my PDF store, so go check it out. It's $15, and it's an immediate download, which means the website emails it to you right away. If it doesn't end up in your inbox, shoot me an email, and I'll resend it. Who knows? You know, guys. I swear only about three-fourths of the things that I send out actually arrive. Um, and then option four is my downline. They get the kit for $22, including shipping, okay? All right, so there's that. That's That class deadline is quite a ways away. June 25th, they will ship July 1st. Okay, let's see what's going on. I think my daughter's friend is here and I think she's leaving, so Charlie doesn't like that. Let's see if he's gonna stop. Okay, hopefully we're done. Yesterday was the last day of school, you guys. So it's going to be chaos from here on until the last week of August. Barking, kids in and out, craziness, just crazy. So I apologize. Um, the second thing I need to tell you is Club Create. This is the last time I'm going to tell you this because the deadline is the 7th, which is Monday. If you want to sign up for Club Create, this month we're doing Plentiful Plants. And um, I'm not 100% sure what we're doing in July. I thought I knew, but I think I'm changing my mind. Um, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm having a hard time deciding. So for right now, for June, Plentiful Plants, you got to subscribe by the 7th. It's $39 a month. You can cancel any time. There is a tab at the top of my blog. Um, it's called Club Create. Club Create. Click on that. It'll take you to the subscription page. All the PDFs, all Club Create comes with a PDF and a video. And this month, it's actually six projects. And then you get about $20 in product. Um, let's see, what was I gonna say? Oh, they all include a video, I said that. And okay, if you don't wanna subscribe to Club Create, the, um, what am I trying to say? PDF with a video is available in my PDF store for $15. You get both the PDF and the video, okay? Okay. That's it. That's the last one I'm going to show you. Hopefully, I'll have July's ready to show you next week. All right. So let's see. We are down to the end. I feel like... Oh, 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 I know. Did I tell you guys last week about the kits? I did, right? These new kits. I ordered some more, and they came. Um, we have all these new kits online, and they're very inexpensive. They come in these cute little boxes. I don't know if this is the one we looked at. Now, this is one really cute, doesn't... It doesn't have any stamping, so you just assemble. Like, that's really easy. Um, so this is one of the kits, I think, what is like $13? So that's one. There, There's a bunch of different ones over there, and some of them are going to look just like Paper Pumpkin past kits. So if you missed out on a good kit in the past, you might want to look to see if it's there. Some include stamps and ink. Some do not. It'll tell you which ones do and don't. This one, see this one has stamps, ink. It looks just like Paper Pumpkin, doesn't it? Um, I know some people love Paper Pumpkin so much they want more. So that's what these are. Those are so cute for the summer. So the deal with those kits is that if you see it online, that means it's available. If you don't see it online, that means it's sold out. Okay, so there will be no back order issues with kits that um, either just be sold out or they'll be available, which is nice. But you can order these. These are great for road trips, for camping, for parties, for kids, um, just lots of fun. Look, these are the ones that were for Valentine's originally. They changed the colors, how cute. The stamp set has a little um, bird and a, what is that, an um, iguana? No, a chameleon. 
Anyway, I want I just wanted you guys to make sure you see that there's a whole section now on the website of kits. So look for those. You might have noticed there are no kits in the catalog. Now they're all online. Okay, we are down to prizes. I have three prizes from last week. Pam Simmons, Kathy Barbara, and Marianne McGinnis. Ladies, please message me your mailing address so that I can give you your uh, stamp sets. I can mail them to you next week. Thank you very much for sharing my video. That helps me find new stampers, and I do appreciate that. Um, and I don't know. Thank you. I really do appreciate it, guys. This week, I've got two more bundles. Friends are like seashells again and delicate petals. This one, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys, I ordered it and I just never used it. So I thought I'm going to give it away as a prize. Delicate petals. This is one that's leaving the spring catalog. And friends are like seashells. This is a stamp set that's used in this month's all-star tutorial bundle. Okay, so to be entered to win the prize, um, all you have to do is share the video on Facebook. And then in the comments, tell me that you shared and um, tell me which which bundle you want. I'm really worried about my phone because it's so dark. Let me see, is it hot? That's weird. I hope it doesn't die. If it dies, you guys, I'll just start again, a new video, okay? Okay, let's get started. If you haven't joined me for Facebook Friday before, we do three projects. This week, it's the Stellar Birthday stamp set. And there's a PDF that goes with it over at pinkbuckroo.com. It has everything that you need, um, all the supplies listed, as well as the measurements. And there's a host code attached to this. So if you like these projects and you would like for me to send them to you next week, kind of as a kit, then make sure you use this host code and your order is over $35 and you put it in by Monday at midnight. You can order anything you want, guys. You can order from the last chance list. You can order kits. You could order the stellar birthday stamp set, whatever you want, but it has to be $35 and it has to be in by Monday at midnight using that host code. There's one caveat to that. If your order is over $150, don't use the host code because then you get those stamping rewards, but I will still send you the kit, okay? All right, so this is what they look like when they come. You will need the stamp set. I don't do any pre-stamping. Um, you'll need the stamp set, the ink, and adhesive. I will send you everything else. Um, I always make a little tag to go with them. Let's see, where's last week's? Here's last week's. You are the best. That was a fun one. Okay, and I don't know, I'm sure many of you noticed last week I forgot the Rick Rack again. I forgot to put the Rick Rack on in the clean recording on YouTube, and I forgot the Rick Rack during Facebook Live. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't forget to put it in your kit. And those of you who got the birdhouse make and takes, apparently, okay, just want to defend myself. I had just gone back from Maui <laughs> and I was jet lagged and I gave you supplies apparently for two of those make and takes and the bonus make and take on Monday or the bonus project on Monday. So I apologize. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. Well, I do. I was jet lagged and tired. But if you got weird pieces from the birdhouse make and takes from before I left, just go to the following Monday and that's the project. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I've never done that before. Okay, let's get started. Let me clear off everything. And let's see, where am I going to put this? I'm running out of space. So how many of you have this stamp set? Uh, it's so cute. And I have a friend, Jennifer, I don't know if she's watching, but she actually works for NASA and she loves space stuff. So hopefully, and she is a stamper. So hopefully she's going to catch this. If not live, she'll catch it in the replay. All right. So we're going to start with this box. And I teased you guys. And I said, do you, can you guess what's in it? That's what I did on Instagram. Can you guess? I, of course, searched high and low for all of the best treats to go with a stamp set. And inside are mini moon pies. Do you guys like moon pies? Um, <laughs> I will tell you, I'm not a huge fan, but my mom loved them. She said she ate them when they were kids. So she is always buying moon pies and telling us about moon pies. So... I got these on Amazon. They're the mini moon pies and they fit two of them fit perfectly in the box. Okay. And they're pretty inexpensive too. 
So we're gonna let's make the box first because it's gonna need to do some drying uh, while we while we do the other pieces. Let me get my simply scored and my notes. Thank you for sharing. Denise, those are your favorite? The moon pies? You like the moon pies? Or your favorite is the stamp set? I don't know. Moon pies? I had no idea moon pies come in so many flavors. If you look on Amazon, they're all kind of flavors. I thought they were just chocolate, but I guess not. All right, you're going to need two pieces of, um, Karen says Mardi Gras and moon pies go hand in hand. Really? That's interesting. Um, Sandy, you've never had one before. Banana, Marion, I saw that and I was like, banana, that's interesting. Okay, I'm gonna stop reading comments and I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna focus. Um, you're gonna need two pieces of Knight of Navy cardstock. This one is seven and a fourth by six and a half and we're gonna score all four sides at one and three fourths. Now remember, this is all on that PDF. You don't need to write it all down. Just go over and print, save, whatever to that PDF and you'll have it. Now the second piece, of Knight of Navy is five by five and a, five by five and three fourths. And this is the lid. We're gonna make it a tiny bit bigger than the box so it slides on really well. And I'm gonna use a shim, which is a stack of post-it notes. And this is, let's see how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten post-it notes, okay? And I'm gonna put it right there. That's gonna make our lid just that much wider on all four sides. So we're gonna score the lid at one inch on all four sides, okay? And one. Well, it looks like maybe I didn't cut my paper straight. Mm-hmm, let's see, yeah, it, okay. We gotta do that over again, hold on. Because that's gonna come out wonky. What did I say? Five by five and three fourths. Hold on. I did clean recordings of these um, that you'll find over on YouTube. So if you want to come back and make these, those are shorter videos. And yesterday I made the clean recordings and my piece was not wonky. I don't know what happened to that one. <sighs> Sometimes I feel like my Simply Scored is crooked. Surely it's not the paper, <laughs> the, or the person who cut the paper. Surely it's the actual die cut machine. <laughs> I am certain of it. Okay, you're gonna need grid paper. Look at that, I don't know. That one is just definitely wonky, let's see. They're both crooked. Well, whatever, we're going with it. All right, before I do, before I turn this into a night sky, I'm gonna do all the burnishing, all the cutting. That way, once it's dry, all I have to do is put it together, like glue it, okay? It's like a s'more. That's a great way to describe it. Oh, and heating it, I never thought of that either. Mm. Okay, on the long side, you're gonna cut the two score lines. And I didn't cut over far enough. And then you're gonna cut the corners on the squares, okay? My girls have eaten moon pies with my, my mom has bought them, bought, bought, is that a word? Bought, has bought them for my girls before. But I ordered these from Amazon and it actually was a pretty big box and I, was like, hey, you want spoon pie? And they were all like, meh. So maybe it's not their favorite, I'm not sure. Or maybe they just have better choices. All right, there we go, we've got that piece and we're gonna do this one the same way. And I wanna use my little scissors on this one. Okay, you guys, do you see my nails? I got them done yesterday. And I loved the nails I got the nails that she did last time and they were all this color and then one was ombre like this so yesterday she says why don't we do all of them ombre because I told her I really liked it so I said okay I don't like it it's too much so if my fingernails are distracting you guys <laughs> I'm very sorry and you know what's weird my nails my fingernails hurt last night 
I, I've never had my fingernails hurt after getting my nails done. Have any of you had that? It was very strange. They like hurt. And it didn't feel like she did anything different. I don't know. Okay, random, I know. All right, we're gonna take a clear block. You like them, Robin? I don't know, I don't know. Clear block, I just, usually like just classic, you know, like one color or French manicure, but sometimes you just get crazy and try something else. My daughter got a maroon color that reminded me of the 80s. All right, that was, I didn't even tell you what that was. That is the our white um, craft ink. And I put a little bit on the, on the block and I'm gonna squeeze out some water like that. So it's kind of milky. And then I'm just gonna splatter. And here on the, the bottom piece, really all that's gonna be seen are the sides, the four sides. So you don't really need to worry too much about the bottom. You just wanna make sure that those sides are starry, okay? And then we're over here, you're gonna see the sides and the top. So you really wanna make sure you have good coverage. Okay, now when you're done with this, go wash your block and your um, water brush. This is ink, it's not gonna hurt your water brush, but it's a different kind of ink. It's kind of, um, hmm, you know how like oil paints like stickier, that's kind of how this ink is. So make sure you go clean it all off, okay? And I will do that when I'm done. So let me move that over here. Now it's all over my fingers. Okay, we're gonna move this and let it dry. Hopefully it will dry by the time we're done. Now, I'm gonna stamp and color. We are going to start with a little boy astronaut. You could substitute the little girl. You could use the little dog, either one. Okay, and so that's Memento Black because we're using Stampin' Blends. And then we're gonna do the moon, and the moon is actually from a second set called To the Moon, which coordinates really well. Um, I really like this one. It's more realistic than this one, but uh, I think they go pretty well together. So I'm gonna stamp the moon in Smoky Slate, and I've put a pad under here because when you stamp with large photopolymer stamps, sometimes, depending on whatever table you're stamping on, it doesn't stamp down in the middle, there's like a bubble. It doesn't happen to me when I am over there doing, um, on my table, okay, I have to get a, another paper towel. I got kind of crazy with that, the stars. But when I am stamping on this table, it does. So it just depends on your surface. And you know what, I'm going out of order with my projects because I have all the Stampin' Blends on the other board. That was the one I was gonna start with, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna color him, his suit, Smoky Slate. And this takes a little bit of time to color. And so then in the third project, I'm gonna show you how you don't have to color his suit. You can just leave it white. But I started out coloring it like it's colored in the catalog. Okay, so I'm gonna do Smoky Slate. And you wanna kind of work in small sections. And then I'm gonna take the dark and just put a shadow underneath his helmet there. And above his belt, then go back with your light and blend it all in. Okay, now I'm gonna do his helmet. I can't believe the school year is over. You guys that have kids, are you done? Oh, it was one heck of a school year, I will tell you that. Um, very happy that they're saying next year will be completely back to normal because this year was, you know, just super weird. But now we have the summer and it's very hard to work at home. Even teenagers, especially teenagers, I don't know, they're kind of noisy, huh? Yeah, they're noisy. It seems like the first couple of weeks, it takes us 
first couple of weeks to kind of figure things out. Like, okay, mom's working. Got to remember. And then we kind of get into a routine. Hopefully this year will be the same way. We get there faster. All right, for his boot, I'm going to use the dark. Um, smoky Slate for his boots. All right, for his belt, we're gonna do real red. Um, Lisa, you're slowly building your blends collection with stamp rewards, great idea. I was just thinking the other day, I should give away stamp and blends for Facebook Friday prizes. I have some in my cabinet and I just never, I never grabbed them, I don't know. So maybe I'll do that next week. Let's see, okay, for his hair, we're gonna just do crumb cake. It's just got a little bit of hair right there. No shading, it's way too little for that. And then for his face, I'm gonna use petal pink. I like petal pink as a skin color, but we have so many different options for skin. Whatever skin tone you wanna use. If you Google Stampin' Blends skin tones, there are demonstrators who've made little charts for blending for, to get different um, skin tones. And uh, it's really cool. But I'm just gonna make it easy and do petal pink. And then you wanna put a shadow underneath that, around the edge there of his helmet because he's under there and there would be a, sh a shadow. And then of course, let's give him a couple little rosy cheeks. And last but not least, a gold star. All right. Now, I'm going to hear a big wah, wah from many of you when I tell you that there are no dies for this cute little guy. You know, to me, this would be a set that we should have dies to, but for some reason, they didn't ask me. They didn't ask me my opinion. So, <laughs> we are... Um, we have to we have to fussy cut. And I know I can hear some of you out there, nope, not gonna do it, not gonna do it. That's fine. You could always punch him out with a circle if you wanted. Um, but I think he's worth cutting out. If you use, I'm gonna tell you the same thing I tell you every time, use small scissors, which I am using our paper snips. And I am always telling you guys, Get some paper snips. Add them onto your next order. They're $10. You will not regret it. They are super sharp and they are small. Um, and they will get in all these little nooks and crannies around your fussy cutting. They will also give your daughter a haircut if she needs it. <laughs> a little trim. Just saying. Uh, they're very sharp and they're very good. Um, so then what the other thing I do is I just kind of try to stay on the outside of that black line. And I use my left hand to turn the paper and just go slow, okay? And don't be too hard on yourself if you think it doesn't look perfect. I guarantee you the person you're giving this box to is gonna barely glance at it before they rip it open, right? <laughs> okay, now let's cut the moon out. We have a circle die. That fits perfectly. It's the, I measured it, it's two and three fourths. So it'll fit perfectly. No fussy cutting the moon. Cutting circles, fussy cutting circles is hard. I'm not gonna lie. That's why we have circle dies, right? Oh yes, Lisa, my daughter is going to the movies right now too. Movies are coming back, you guys. We love the movies. And we've actually seen a couple of movies during the last year. Our theater has stayed open, but just showing like old stuff, you know? So I'm excited to see some new stuff. She's seeing a scary movie, The Conjuring, and I really didn't want her to see that. Um, but she said, I've already seen one of the other ones. And I was like, you have? Well, okay. She's 14, I guess it's okay. I don't know. She's going with a friend's parents. I don't like scary movies at all, so I would not have been caught dead in there. Okay, I have cut out, once again, a white um, label from the message dies. Now, last week, we talked about cutting these apart, and somebody sent me a video 
um, of another demonstrator whose husband cut them apart with 10 snips. So I ordered another die this week and I'm going to try it, I think, because we talked about cutting them apart. I cut, I talked about cutting them apart. Um, I don't know. We'll see. And you probably should stamp and then cut. Let's see. Yeah, see, it's crooked. I did that last time too. Okay, that's why cardstock has two sides. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty good. All right. Okay, are we ready to assemble? I don't know. Let's see, are we dry? We are almost dry, but you know what? I'm gonna grab my heat tool and dry it. Yeah, Carla, you know, my girls are so different than me. My older two love scary movies. My youngest is more like me. She's a chicken. She doesn't like heights, that kind of thing. But my other two, they're like fearless. I was never fearless. <laughs> the older I get, the less brave I am. I don't know. The scariest movie I probably can tolerate is something stupid like that movie Scream. Do you guys remember Scream from the 90s? Is it the 90s? The Goonies scared me when I was a kid. <laughs> the Goonies. It's not scary anymore to me, um, but it was when I was a kid. Um, okay, so adhesive on the four squares on the outside, and then you're just going to fold them into the sides like that. This this little project, I feel like, is easy enough to make lots of them. Um, if you were going to have a party, like a space party, um, I think making 10 or 12 of these would be not too, not too difficult. Um, and then the moon pies are very inexpensive. You can find moon pies in your grocery store. Pretty sure everybody probably has them in their grocery store, maybe. But Sandy, you said you'd never seen them, huh? I wonder if they have them out there in California. Um, but the minis, I don't know. The minis may be harder to find. Anyhow, you, if you get a big one, you could do the same thing. You just draw, go back to my video on how to make a box on YouTube, it was back in December, and make a box to fit the, that moon pie. All right, look, I love that, that shim, look. I've started making my shim bigger so that it, it makes the box lid go down perfectly. All right, we're gonna use some gray granite ribbon. I guess I probably should have stamped the moon in gray granite, but it doesn't really matter. Gray is gray, these two grays anyway. Yes, I know they're not exactly the same, but they're close enough. Okay, so tie that around the box and then get your dimensionals. <laughs> I don't like roller coasters either. Although I have been brave. I've ridden a few roller coasters. I don't enjoy them, but I will do them because my family will be like, hey, why don't you ride a roller coaster with us? All right, now I'm gonna have him up here flying around and let's see, I put this on the wrong side. There we go, and that's gonna be sticking off the edge like that. And there you go, pretty easy. See, look how cute these would be. All like on a table, like, okay, take your party favor. Also, I really think that if you work in an office or a school, you should have little treats on hand because you know there's always that person who shows up and they're like, oh, today's my birthday and nobody knew and, you know, you're like, oh, scrambling. Well, pull it out and look, oh, happy birthday. I'm very thoughtful. <laughs> Those would be easy to do and fun. And it could be masculine or feminine, right? It could go girl or boy, man or woman. Heidi, ro wooden roller coasters. We have one here. We have a Six Flags um, here. And that was the first roller coaster I ever rode was that wooden one. And I actually really liked it. But then I rode it as an adult and I thought I was gonna die because it hurt. <laughs> it hurt my bones. I don't know, I think I'm too old for that. Okay, next we're gonna make another box. And funny story is I asked my husband, you know, like, hey, space snacks, what do you think? I said, I, I feel like there's something really obvious and, and I can't think of it. And he was said, well, Milky Way or Mars. And I was like, hello. I knew it was obvious. So he came home from the gas station and said, look, I bought you some Milky Way. 
for your project. So just a gas station candy bar, you guys, can be turned into a super duper cute project. All right. Okay. Let's make the box first. This time we're using basic black. Where did I put my Simply Scored over here? And we're going to take that shim off. And, oh, Tang would have been a good idea. That's right. I remember that from when I was a kid. Tang was the original space. It was originally, originally space food or space drinks. All right. So this basic black piece is five and a half by six and three fourths. And I did not write down the score lines. What is wrong with me? Okay. I'm going to fix the PDF. Hopefully you haven't printed it yet. I will update it. I got to go back to my notes. <laughs> you would need the score lines, wouldn't you? It's on the other one. I just didn't put on this one. Okay, long side. Let's do short side first. Half an inch, two inch, three inches, four and a half. Turn to the long side and do half an inch. One and a half and five and three fourths. All right. See, this is my little notebook where I write all my measurements down. My downline Gloria, she gave me that idea. Okay, we're gonna do some trimming here. And I'm gonna do it different than I did in the clean recording because I like for my boxes to have those smooth uh, corners on the front and the seam in the back. And I realized when I did this one yesterday that I did it backwards. So if you watch the clean recording, it might be a little bit different. Um, you're still gonna end up with the same box, just the lid's gonna open a different on a different side. Um, okay, let me think. Maybe not, maybe I do have to do it that way, let's see. Yeah, I think I do. Mm, no, I don't, no, I don't, okay. <laughs> Here's the short side, right? And we have this skinny edge right here. That's gonna be the part we put on the inside. So cut off the two rectangles on the end. And actually it's three, because this one has three. Okay, cut those corners off. Now, yeah, I am gonna have to do it that way. I scratch what I said. It'll, it'll be fine, I'm just being a perfectionist. All right, we're gonna cut off these three right here next, okay? I don't like when that edge is in the front. And I, I think that's just me being a perfectionist. And I should have done my score lines differently um, for that to work out the way I wanted it to. So whatever, it's fine, it'll still work. All right, now we're gonna cut this one off. Okay, so this is what your piece looks like right now. Now take your scissors and go up in here, cut that score line. Then these two squares, we're gonna cut them so that they match this one. So just cut it in half, and it doesn't have to be perfect because it's just tucking inside. Okay, so then cut the corners off, each one. Okay. All right, so that's what your piece looks like now. Now down here, we're just gonna cut these score lines and then cut off the corners of the squares. And that's what your piece looks like, okay? All right, now burnish those lines with your bone folder. Hi, Karen, welcome. Um, you know what, you have Texas temps in Iowa? Well, girl, let me just tell you something. Yesterday, I had my heater on in my car. I don't know what is happening. It was cold. My daughter and I went and got our nails done. It was pouring down rain, and it was 66 degrees. And I was soaking wet when I got in my car, and I was freezing. I, I, I don't know what's happening. It's very weird. Our temperatures have swapped, it seems. <laughs> very strange. All right, now, put your adhesive on that skinny... Um, tab and I'm using stamp and seal I've just really gotten to where I prefer stamp and seal to stamp and seal plus and I really think it's strong enough for 3d what do you guys think have you tried using this on your 3d projects 
I feel like it's very strong. It's stronger than snail, and I think it will hold your projects together just fine. Okay, so down here, you're going to put those in. Typically, I have been using Tombow. As you guys know, Tombow and I have made our piece, and we are friends. But I don't know, for quick videos, I think I'll just use Stamp and Seal. All right, so I just folded up that bottom, okay? And then... We're gonna put our Milky Way in. How much is a Milky Way bar? I don't know, you could probably get them two for a dollar, maybe 75 cents. There you go, cute little box. All right, now let's make, we're gonna do a different night sky on each of our projects. So we did the splatter over there. This time I have a piece, and I think it's too long, I think I need to trim it, of the pa Party Pattern Designer Series paper, the Stampin' Rewards pattern. Yep, it's a little bit too long, so let's trim it. I'm just going to do it with my scissors like that. Okay. Now, before we put it on, I needed to I we needed to have a smoke trail for our rocket, right? So I looked through all my stamps and this new one, Stitchery, I thought that would be perfect for a smoke trail. So, I've got let me get my red paper. And I've got this piece here. I'm gonna emboss it. So I'm gonna stamp it in white. Same ink we used on the first project. And it's gonna kind of go at an angle like that. All right. And then sprinkle it with white embossing powder. Make sure that it's not sticking to where you don't want it to stick, okay? Because it will stick and dry and it will be wrong in the wrong place. Now I'll grab that heat tool. Arizona was 110 yesterday, Linda. Oh gosh. Yeah, you know, those temperatures, we'll have that here sooner than, than we'd like. Usually June is manageable. July is when we start to get crazy and August is when we don't leave our houses <laughs> because it's so hot and humid and disgusting. The older I get, the less I can tolerate those hot temperatures. I hate, I hate, hate, hate August. Oh, it's the worst, the worst month of them all. Okay, now I just set that all down in that powder that's there, but I'll brush it off. It'll be fine. And we'll put that right there on the box. Okay, this time I used the rocket. Very cute little rocket. And it's quicker to color. Why can't I pick things up today? We're going to stamp that rocket in Memento right here. And we're gonna stamp the words in real red. And we're gonna cut these words out, just straight rectangles. So I'm gonna get it as close to the bottom as I can. Okay, let's see how I did. Perfect. Maybe not so perfect, it's not too close, but whatever, it'll work. All right, now the rocket, I Googled Cartoon Rocket. And I just found all kinds of cute little rockets. So I copied one and we're gonna color this. You can do smoky slate or gray granite. Either one will work. And we're gonna color the body of the rocket in gray. Okay, light gray. And I'm gonna take my dark gray and I'm gonna put a shadow kind of over here on this side. I know you guys can't see real well, but if you go watch the clean recording, I zoom in so you can see exactly what I'm doing. All right, blend that shadow over like that. Okay. And then we'll give it some navy, but actually not navy, misty moonlight um, stripes. Navy's too dark. I feel like when I use my navy, it's just a little too dark. That in the black, I mean, there's a time and a place for those dark, dark colors, but we don't want to lose the detail 
on our ship here. And I need to, I did not color this down here, the bottom part of our rocket. Now, real red, and real red dark is gonna be your real true red. I'm not gonna do any shading, so I'm just gonna do dark, real red. And then the fire coming out. Um, let's see, we're gonna do yellow on the inside. This is Daffodil Delight, dark. And Pumpkin Pie Dark. I hate trying to color while I'm standing. I need to get a, a table, a different, you know, something higher. Because I have to bend down real, real, real far. And then I feel like I'm not doing a very good job. Oh, wait. We have to make it sparkly. Get your wink of Stella and brush it. And that just makes it so cute. The wink of Stella will pick up your ink colors. I don't, well, it did a little bit there. So I brush it off every time I'm going to switch a color. Okay. Now I'm going to fussy cut. I want to know, you guys, I've told you this many times in the last couple of months. I have three projects using the Always dies in the mini catalog that I, they're so pretty and I want to use them. I wanted to use them back around Valentine's Day. But then things got crazy and then we had celebration and everything was crazy, so I never got to them. So they're sitting here and the dies are retiring. So how do you guys feel about doing wedding cards next week? June is wedding month. Do you guys have use for wedding cards if we do that? I have some other things from the annual catalog too, but I just want you guys to, I don't want you to miss out on these dies. They're so good. And one of the cards uses the gold, um, what do you call it? The gold leafing, which I have not used except for this one time on this one card. And I kept telling you guys I was going to show you, I was going to show you, and I didn't get it. So how do you guys feel about wedding cards? Yes. Lisa says yes. What do you guys, good timing, wedding will be all summer. Yeah, right. I feel like there's going to be a lot of weddings because everybody was waiting until COVID was over. And I actually, <laughs> funny story, um, not so funny. I lost the four cards. I made four different cards and I've completely lost them. I don't know where they are. I have dug around boxes, drawers. I don't know. I think they must have gotten thrown away. Um, so I have remade two of them using new in colors. And so... You guys, are you okay with wedding cards next week? Um, I'm cutting this apart. Celebrating is going to be one. And then I'm leaving this one. You is a blast. All right. And we're going to put all of these on here with dimensionals. You just ordered the dies. Yes, for wedding cards. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Sounds good. Hey, Kimberly. I haven't been to a wedding in a really long time. I'm kind of in that weird in-between stage um, of friends. You know, my friends aren't getting married anymore, but their kids aren't quite old enough to get married. But I feel like we always need some kind of wedding card. Everybody does. All right, these are getting many dimensionals. All right, so that's what we'll do next week. We'll do that whole suite of, at the very front of the spring mini catalog. The Always Dies and the Matching Stamp Set. And then the one on the left side, what is it called? I can't remember. But I believe that one's not retiring, the one on the left side. Okay, so there's that. See how they're kind of hanging off? And then we're going to add some of this ribbon. You know, this is our, we've had this black ribbon for a while. And it's kind of stiff. But, and it's, I don't know, like I need, when I want black ribbon for a card, this isn't necessarily the ribbon that I want. But look how perfect it is for this project. It's like a galaxy. It's like the night sky. It's perfect for space. So I was very excited. I actually ordered an extra bolt of it for all the make and takes I'm going to cut. It came out on Halloween a couple of years ago. And it's hung around. All right, last but not least, where is my, take your pick tool, hold on, hold on. 
in the drawer. Hold on. Let me grab it. Um, Cindy, thank you. I don't know if you were here a minute ago when I said I wasn't a big fan of them. One ombre nail is okay, but 10 is a little distracting. I'm just not used to it. I, I mean, I guess it's pretty. And you know, she does that with a paintbrush. Like, there's no, like it's, she's like an artist, I told her. She's amazing. I could never do that. It's amazing. So it is like a work of art. Thank you, Cindy. <laughs> Anyways, there we go. A, a second project. And these, again, keep them at work. Throw them in a drawer at home. I, You know, my girls come home and say, or no, they don't come home. They say, wait till 9 o'clock at night. And they say, so-and-so's birthday's tomorrow. Can we go to the store and get candy? That's always what, the, what they want to give their friends. Can we give them candy? <sighs> no. Look, we have a treat that can go to school tomorrow, right? Ta-da, it's done. So... Keep that in mind. You can make these and just keep them on hand for those times when you are in a pinch. Okay, we have one more, and it's my favorite one. My favorite one is left. Let me show you. Here we go. We're going to make a card for my card makers out there. I know I did two 3Ds this week, and some of you don't want 3Ds. I know, I know. I hear you. But this card is going to use one of our new masks. And if you haven't used a mask before, they're so fun. So, so fun. We got these new masks called Plenty of Patterns. Okay? Oh, and I have another project I want to show you. Plenty of Patterns. And this is the one we're going to use. When I saw it, I was thinking like looking at like a planetarium or like an observatory where you would look up at the night sky and those were like the panes of the window. And I, was, and I was like, does that make sense? And then my daughter came in and she said, she saw it and she said, oh, that looks like you're at the planetarium or the observatory. I was like, all right. I guess my, my idea translated pretty well. So that was where I was going with this. Um, so we're using this one. The other ones that are in this pack are that one, is that one, which looks like a mermaid. And then this one, which is flowers, which matches that sweet symmetry. I haven't even looked at these. I just looked at that one. And then these, which are four different stencils. All right. So we're going to use this one. And as you can see, I have it ready to go. Let me grab my grid paper. And we're going to use my favorite post-it note tape again. And a blending brush. Okay. So we're not using white to make this ombre. And you can see I did it too. This is the first one I made. I went darker. This one I didn't go so far down. So you can decide whichever one you want, however much dark you want to do. This is a quarter sheet of balmy blue. So four and a fourth by five and a half. I've made it bigger than I need so that I can put this tape on here and then I can trim it off. Okay, let's see. I think I'm going to put it on the corner right here. Maybe a little tiny bit right there. Okay, so we can trim it down when we're done. Then you're going to put your mask down, and you want to tape your mask down as well. Okay? Now, all you're going to do is get your Night of Navy ink and your blending brush, and you're just going to start at the top and go down. Okay, and your arm is going to get tired, I can tell you that right now, but it'll be worth it. And then just keep doing that. There's the hair falling out. All right, so while I'm doing this, what are you guys doing this weekend? Is it still gross weather everywhere? Here it's been gross weather for weeks. I like rain because we don't get a lot of rain. But, you know, now it's summer, and we want to go to the lake, and we're actually having, like, a little lake graduation party next week, so the gross weather needs to chill out. I hope you guys, I know there was a lot of rain over Memorial Day, and, like, snow, like, some of you are getting snow up north on Memorial Day, or wearing, you know, like, 40 degrees, wearing winter stuff. That is unacceptable, Mother Nature. 
Unacceptable. I'm glad you guys like the 3D projects. Thank you. Rain today, Renee. Yeah. It was supposed to rain today, but the clouds went away. Oh, lucky you, Pam. It was supposed to rain today here, and it hasn't. So hopefully, hopefully it won't. All right, my Wink of Stella. I'm going to do the same thing before I take my, um, well, this, this one is empty. Let me grab the other one. Before I take that mask off, I'm going to do some splatter on here. Squirt out just a little bit of Wink of Stella on your block. And we're gonna flick, and this is like the little stars. And you wanna leave the mask on there so that those panes in between, or the, the lines in between the window panes don't have stars on them, because then that wouldn't really make sense. All right, so do as little or as much as you'd like. Three days of 80 down to 20, deg down 20 degrees today, oh my gosh. Oh, we finally got rain, oh wow. Lots of rain. Heidi, you're having a graduation party tomorrow. Yeah, we're doing ours. My daughter graduates Sunday, day after tomorrow. But we're going to wait and do it the following week. Congratulations to you guys. It's very exciting. I've been kind of sentimental this week. Look, I'm not sure I like that down there. Hmm, hold on. Let's see if I can put that back and go down just a little bit further. Let's see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where did it go? Did I turn it? I did. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's do just a little bit more down here. Just a little bit right there. So you can see those panes. Oh, okay. Hmm, smeared the wink of Stella, but whatever. All right, so get your trimmer. And now you're gonna cut that down. Two, there's that one's from yesterday to four by five and a fourth and you got to look to see where that tape was you want to cut off those sides that have the tape and I think we're gonna cut off well we got to cut off this little tape part right here and a mm, little bit more and then let's see five and a fourth are we there nope a little bit more so you want to cut it down to four by five and a fourth and your hands look how lovely your hands are going to be when you're done with all of these projects <laughs> it's a messy art day it's a good thing my nails are good <laughs> now look that one's blue it looks like a popsicle all right put that on your balmy blue card base with dimensionals and I don't know why we have that we don't need that we're gonna stamp this time we're using the other two images the little girl and the little dog my daughter told me the name of the first dog in space both my girls knew and yesterday when I was saying that in the video then suddenly I couldn't remember what the dog's name is who knows it's something really obvious and I can't remember somebody's gonna know so we colored the suit gray last time, but if you don't want to do that, just get your smoky slate marker and leave the suit and the helmet white and just color in this part right here, this little part and this little part like that. And then we'll do her gloves. Nobody, nobody has said who the first dog in space was. I think I know what it is, but I don't want to say it. I wish she was here. She just left. My middle child loves space. She's a little bit obsessed with space. All right, then I'm just going to do the sole of the shoe. Okay. Astro from the Jetsons. I don't think that's right, Carla. <laughs> is it? I don't think. Layla? Really? That's not what she told me. All right, well, we'll have to, we'll have to figure that one out because both her and my other daughter said something else. They, who knows, who knows? All right, I'm sticking with a red belt. Like that. And then we're gonna do a gold star, of course. Daffodil Delight. 
Now, I always tend to make my, my girls have blonde hair because, you know, my girls have blonde hair. You know, you can just use whatever. I'm gonna do So Saffron. So Saffron is a good blonde color. Yes, Sarah, that's it, that's it. Yes, and I bet Kay's um, autocorrected. Yes, that's, we have um, a cheesecake store here that is named after that dog. Did I see, um, no, I didn't. We have a cheesecake shop down on Broadway that is amazing. They serve che cheesecakes in a jar and they named their store after the first dog in space. But you know what? I don't think that's what my daughter said. I'm gonna have to ask her again. Oops, I just colored her eye. Oh, darn it. Well, maybe she's got a pink eye. <laughs> Whatever, it's tiny, you can't see it. All right, I'm doing the same thing with petal pink. Go around, give a little shadow and a little cheek. See, now we didn't color the spacesuit and that was much quicker. I need soft suede, but I don't have it, so we'll use crumb cake. The dog has this bone, right, um, floating around on this string. And I had thought maybe I could fussy cut that, and I could not. So we're just going to cut it off. It's way too small to try to fussy cut. So don't even. Just cut it off. Unless you are super duper skilled. Because <laughs> cutting around that string was not going to happen. All right, so cut off all your extra cardstock. My daughter got a telescope for her birthday, and she's a little bit obsessed with all things space. And she constantly wants to tell me about space stuff. Like, can I tell you about the star, such and such, blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking, oh, God. And then I'm a good mom, and I say, yes, please tell me. <laughs> I she knows a lot of stuff about space. I guess it's it's good that she's interested in science. This is my middle daughter who is also a fantastic artist. She uh really likes science too. She, we talk a lot about how she can do both science and art together as a job. All right, we're gonna fussy cut this little girl out. We're almost done. It felt like we weren't at three o'clock yet, but I just glanced and it's after three o'clock. I don't know why I can't keep it an hour these days. I just talk too much, I guess. All right, going around, she's a little bit harder to cut out, I think, than the boy because of these pigtails. I don't know, and her, her hands are Ooh, that looks awful. Her hands are um, like, you know, held differently. They feel like a little bit harder to cut around. <laughs> I need some Jeopardy music while I cut this out. And we're done. Ah, it's not very good, but luckily you guys can't see on Facebook Live. You can't see very close. <laughs> Now the dog, he's pretty easy. I mean, he is small, but he's easy. He doesn't have any hands to cut around. He does have that little tail. There we go. And you know what, I didn't color his boots, but whatever. Oh, maybe I should. I colored them smoky slate, it looks like. All right, all right, we're almost done. We're almost done, and ta-da, there we go. Okay, we've got those. The last thing is this uh, sentiment we're gonna stamp on a basic white um, stitched flag. Yeah, girls more difficult than boys. Now, I'm not saying boys are not difficult. I'm just saying girls, oh, look at that. Did crooked every time. Girls are intense with the drama, the emotions, very intense. We had some drama yesterday. I won't even get into it, but 
let's just say some kids and parents are not very nice. But whatever. All right, you want them to fly around in space. And I even made little Leitka or whatever they called her upside down. Like she's floating. So cute. And I did it the wrong way. Oh, my gosh. You guys are probably yelling at me. Okay, well, hold on. Hold on. Let's just put it on the other side. So we're gonna rearrange things here, hopefully. I don't rip. We're gonna put the little girl there, put the little dog here, and we'll put the sentiment on this side. Ha, uh -huh, see, there's always a way to fix it. Well, maybe not always, but <laughs> almost every time. Oh my goodness. All right, so a little bit of essential twine one of the essential twines, the gray, around the fold of a card, and we're done. Ta-da! Have a stellar birthday. All right, we made it. Only 310. I hope you guys really enjoyed these projects as much as I did. I love this stamp set a lot. I think this is one that I will probably keep forever. It's so cute. I love to color with Stampin' Blends, and this is a great one. The lines are, you know, there's not too many weird little sketchy lines, um, and it's fun to color. You could also color them with colored pencils or, um, you know, a blender pen or even our regular markers if you have those. But I uh, encourage you to try those Stampin' Blends. So if you want these three projects as a kit, Free make and takes for anybody who puts in a $35 order um, by Monday at midnight. Make sure you use that host code. And I will have a fourth project for you on Monday. I had planned on doing a video on this because I wanted to show you how I did each of the planets. I used our new pastels on some of them. <sighs> I don't know if I'm going to get that video made. It is crazy town around here. Um, but anyways, look for that on Monday if you're looking for another idea. All right, you guys, that is it for me. Uh, LA, you weren't a fan until today. Good. Uh, you know, when I first looked at it, I liked it, but I didn't love it. Now that I've made the projects, I love this stamp set. It's really cute. All right, you guys, have a wonderful weekend. And I will be back Friday, next Friday, and we're going to do wedding cards. Okay, we're going to use those always dies. Maybe that's not all we're going to use, but we're for sure going to use those. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.